there is a really cool feature that has come with Unreal 5.5 that no one is talking about. It's the day and night cycle plugin. And I'm going to show you what it is because it's really cool. So you go to edit, go to plugins, and then type day. And here you're going to see the day sequence. Now I already have it, so I don't need to check it. But as soon as you check it, you will restart the editor and then you are, you're good to go. So I'm going to close this. And after you restart the editor, what you can do here is go to the green plus icon and type day. And you will see that I have some actors here, I have base day sequence actor and basically the sum moon day sequence actor. So what I'm going to do is to click here and you will see that I have my sky. Now everything looks a little bit rare. And the reason is I'm outside the sky dome because the location of this is outside of the origin. I'm going to put it on zero. Uh, you will see that everything now is normal. So as you can see here on the right, I have a bunch of properties. So what happens when I play the game, you will see that I have my sun, but also my daytime is changing little by little. I'm, I'm sure you don't see it because it's like really slow at the moment, but you will see like we're already in the like in the sunset 6, 6 a.m. We're in the sunrise and eventually we will be able to go through the next uh, next time and, and eventually uh, it will become brighter and brighter. But uh, in order to preview this, the reason it doesn't show is because we need a day sequence collection. So we're going to click here and this already comes with the engine. So you're going to click on this one and you will see that I already, everything is dark. And the reason is, well, it's very dark, right? It's 0 AM here in the day time preview. You can see here in the initial time of days is 6 AM. So if I play this, you will see it's still very dark. And eventually the, the sun will come up at, at some point, the sun, there you go. The sun is, is rising and you will see that, uh, uh, if we can find the sun, there you go. You can see the sun rising there and then it will go all the way around until it's night. Now you don't need to wait until that's finished. What you can do is just check this time of day preview and just move it to the position you want, just like that. Right. Oh, there are some issues. I, I believe there are some weird artifacts, but this is experimental. So just take it with a grain of salt. So what happens here is notice that I haven't add any directional light, any kind of light. This actor already comes with all the lights. If I check the components, I already have the sun component, exponential height fog, sky atmosphere, sky skylight component. It comes with a sphere, comes with volumetric cloud. So you don't need to add any any light to your component. Actually, if I add another light, you will see that I actually get a warning signal because I'm using more than one directional light. So you don't want that. Now, what happens here is that base the actor is really cool. Like you can change like how fast you can, you can change the day cycle and things like that. Uh, but what's really cool is that when you go here, you will see that it's nothing, it's pitch black, right? And you don't really want that. So I'm going to delete this. And what I'm going to do is go to the plus icon, type day. And you'll see I have a sun moon day sequence actor. So I'm going to just drag it here, put it in the origin. And you will see there is pretty much the same, except that I have an extra component here. I have a sun component, which I had before. And I also have a moon component that this is new. So basically it's a directional light with a little bit of a light just to, so you can have some highlights during the night. So let's see what happens when we preview this. Go to the moon and you just change the time of day. You will see that when we're like 10 a.m. nothing happens, 3, 3 p.m., 8 p.m. everything starts being dark, but you will see that it's actually very bright. And the reason is your sun is actually it comes with a moon component and that moon component is basically another directional light so if you really want to be pitch dark you can put this one to zero if you want and what you will see is that everything is dark except it comes with some stars that you can see so when i play the game you will see that i start like pitch black 
and eventually we will be able to see you know the sun is rising uh if i can find the sun where are you there you go there's the sun and you can see the sun is moving there and it's slowly changing the colors of the scene just so that different time of day has like you know different colors and it will continue all the way around until it's night again and then you know the cycle repeats so it's really cool because you don't need to program anything you already have this you already have the day and night cycle available for you it looks a little bit weird you know you can you can make some things to change stuff a little bit so let's go to the Sandman sequence act actor let's go back here to the very normal time of day like for example here there are a bunch of things that you can do you can change the sun intensity for example you can change the color or whatever just like a regular light and you can also what I, what I notice is that you can use this light shaft occlusion and light shaft bloom so when I go here I can have some light shaft but I find that it looks a little bit funny in this plugin you can have this god rays that are happening here they are blocked by the clouds but they look really really cool right so that that's what i wanted to show you i think it's really really promising again they uh the name of the plugin it's day uh day sequence very very cool not many people are talking about it and it's extremely useful so make sure to check it out if you have a game that has this feature in a 24 hour cycle for changing the time of day this is definitely the plugin you want to play with it already comes with a lot of stuff you can change like the how many hours there is in the day for example i want 12 hours and at 12 it will be pitch dark basically if the time of day is just decreased by everything's faster you know and you know you, you can start playing with that it's extremely e easy to use and um, and yeah so hopefully uh, this is useful for you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.